Now I want to share with you the types of vectors. What type of vectors are required to discuss in this chapter? In fact, after explaining you what is a vector quantity which is both magnitude and direction. If it is has, it is a vector quantity. I want to tell you what is a position vector. If a vector starts with A, ends with B, then location B minus location A is known as the position vector and written as AB. But if we talk about the type of vectors, then the zero vector or null vector also told you. If a vector starts with A and ends with A, then A minus A, the position is zero. So, we call it is zero or null vector. If it is BB, CC, PP, whatever. So, you need to understand that what is the position vector. The position vector is that final that is terminating position minus initial position that is position vector and with the help of it we can explain you what is zero vector if a vector starts and ends with the same point. Unit vector if we talk about if a vector is a b suppose it is divided by its magnitude or you can say the vector having its magnitude 1. If a vector having magnitude 1 it is unit vector and co-initial vectors. If two or more vectors starts with the same initial point in different different directions. Such vectors are said to be co-initial vectors. Similarly, if few vectors are terminating at same point, such vectors are said to be co-terminal vectors. Collinear vectors, if the vectors are parallel or having same direction are known as collinear or they lies on the same line. Equal vectors, two vectors are said to be equal if they are equal in magnitude and same in the sense or you can say the direction. Negative of vector, if there is a vector a b, its negative will be what? That is minus of a b which can be written as b a vector. Now, I am discussing a question where we will classify that which quantity is scalar and which is vector on the basis of magnitude and direction. Classify the following measures as scalar and vectors which are scalars and which are vectors. 10 kg if we talk about 10 kg it is directionless. So, if we talk about the first one is the scalar. Second, 2 meters, 2 meters is the magnitude. Northwest, direction is given. So, we say the second one is the vector. 40 degree is angle, but it is not. Direction is specified, negative angle, positive angle with x axis, with y axis or where. So, third one is also a scalar. If we talk about fourth one, 40 watt, no direction, it is a scalar. Fifth one, 10 to power minus 19 coulomb, it is also a scalar. And sixth one, 20 meter per second square, it is acceleration. So, it is the vector quantity. So, out of these six, the second and sixth are vector quantities as these two are attained with the direction whereas all are simply required only magnitude to write that is why remaining are scalar quantities.